Hello, and welcome to another tutorial for Unity Character Customization. This tool works with Unity 2018.4 and up in any render pipeline. In this example, I will show the compatibility with Game Creator and how the two systems work together. Game Creator currently requires Unity 2019.4.11 or higher. First, I made a new Unity project, 2020. I imported Character Customization, imported Game Creator, imported the package, and imported the examples for Game Creator. Now, we can look at example one. We can run example one and see if the game creator is functioning as expected. Next, we need to add the scenes from character customization into build settings. We also need to copy the canvas with the associated buttons from character customization game scene into this example scene. And now we have access to that. The character customization system requires very specific names for the demo to work. So, Let's copy the game scene. We'll rename it to the old one. We'll take this example scene and we'll save it as character customization 01 underscore game. We can position them better in the project afterwards. Now that we have this scene, we need to make another change. And that is that the player needs to reference the specific 3D model that we need. In this case, we want to be referencing one of our prefabs, male or female, from the character customization. Let's drag over the male. And now, hit save. Now if you run, you will see our character. If you hit customize, male, you can modify Kyle. We give him a head, spike body, we can discover his arms, legs, hit save, done. And now you can see our customized character is in the scene. It's that easy. But when you transition to a different example scene, these players don't have a reference to that 3D model. So that reference needs to exist everywhere. In order to support both genders, we also need to take something else from the old scene. And that is our spawner. We'll take the spawner. We'll go into our new scene, paste the spawner. And the spawner needs to reference a male and a female prefab. But our player is now the main container. So what we will do is we will name this player male. We will copy it, we'll call this one female, and for the female one, we will give it a reference to our female 3D model. Now we need to make prefabs for this male and for the female. Finally, we need to remove them from the scene, and our spawner needs to reference the female and the male. Hit save play. Now we can play around with Kyle. We can select the gender, go into female, customize Unity Chen, hit save, hit done, and now we're playing as Unity Chen. You can see she has a blue top. Let's modify that again, make her top orange, hit save, done. And now she has an orange top. Now if we want to do this for other scenes, what we need to do is copy character spawning, go into our other scenes, Delete the player, add the spawner. That's important the spawner has a position so that he's actually in the scene or she's in the scene. Hit save. Go to the next example. This is the player. We'll delete the player. Paste in character spawner. And for the example hub, again, delete the player and paste the spawner. Hit save. Go back into our scene. Press play. We have Unity Chan. We can go to the example hub. Unity Chan still there. Go into example two. Unity Chan still there. So on and so forth. Now, if you want to be able to access the character customization system in these scenes, you need to have that canvas or those buttons that will navigate you into the character customization, whether it's gender select or the specific character that you've already selected. And just like that, we have character customization in Game Creator. I hope you found this tutorial useful. For more information, please check out the documentation. Enjoy using character customization system. Thank you very much.